Hello everybody, today we are gonna go over one of the important physics lessons which is speed, velocity and acceleration. Uh, among the learning objectives of this lesson is we need to know the definition of speed and how it is different from velocity. Also, we should be able to plot and interpret speed time graph or distance time graph. Actually, distance, speed, time are the main factors which define motion. Motion could be for an object at rest or moving with constant speed or moving with changing speed. All of these we will study it soon. Okay, let's start with average speed. Average speed is simply given by the equation distance divided by time taken for this movement. Distance is measured in meters and time is measured in seconds. Speed is therefore meter per second. It's very important to make sure that you are using the right units. So if you have kilometer, you have to convert it to meter. If you have minutes or hours, you have to convert it to seconds. An example for that if a car is traveling at uh, for 50 meters length, so it takes 2 seconds, therefore its speed can be calculated from the formula distance, which is 50, divided by time, 2 seconds, this is the right unit, so it turns out to be 25 meters per second of speed. This is speed. What about velocity? Look at these people who are uh, speeding or riding their boat. Of course, they are speeding up, as you can see from the wake at the sea. And, but why, where they are heading to? It's important to know where they are heading to. So if we are talking about speed, we can tell that they are speeding at, say, 50 km per hour. But if we would like to specify where they are heading to, or what is their direction? Now we are talking about velocity. So if their velocity is 25 meters per second and they are heading to west, we said that their velocity is 25 meters per second due west. Okay? This guy or cyclist is now moving to the right. Okay? Now we can say that this cyclist is moving at plus 10 meter per second to the right. To the right means the direction, so this is a velocity. Plus here gives direction to the right. If it is given a negative sign, his velocity is given a negative sign, that means it is to the left. Okay, now we have to distinguish between some quantities. One of them is called scalar, and the other one is called vector. Quantity is, the, the scalar quantity is that quantity that does not have any direction, like time, like mass. Mass and time do not have direction. Temperature also does not have direction. But when we talk about other quantities, which have directions, and of course size or quantity, we are talking about vectors. So vectors are quantities which have both size and direction. Velocity is a vector quantity, also acceleration is a vector quantity. But what is acceleration? It's a rate at which an object increases speed or velocity. So acceleration is given by the equation change in velocity divided by time taken. So if we have an object starts its movement or motion with initial velocity u now its velocity becomes v final velocity during a time period t so acceleration is therefore calculated as v minus u divided t velocity is measured as in meter per second time in second so change of velocity or change in velocity will be in the units of 
meter per second. Now we divide it again by second. So acceleration units will be meter per second divided by second or easily meter per second square. Okay, now for example, if we have this trace, this racing car, okay, racing car starts from zero or at rest. So its initial velocity u is zero. Okay, so suppose that in three seconds its final velocity became 360 uh, meter per second. So its acceleration turns out to be 60 minus zero, which is 60, divided by three. It's now 20 meter per second square of acceleration. Do not forget that acceleration is a vector. So we have to say 20 meter per second plus here or uh, uh, the sign here if we don't put plus that means it is positive means it is acceleration that means velocity is increasing when the acceleration is decreasing it will be given a negative sign and we give it another name called deceleration or sometimes we call it retardation that, that happens when you push the brakes in your car if you are just trying to slow down your car by pushing brakes now your car has negative acceleration or deceleration okay sometimes also you may have constant acceleration like this car which passes between point A with a velocity in 10 meter per second at a steady constant acceleration that means its velocity increases at a steady rate which is constant acceleration 4 meter per second square so when it reached point B after 6 seconds how much increase in velocity it will have actually it gains in 6 seconds 24 which is this rate of increase 4 meter per second square times six seconds so its final velocity simply the sum of its initial velocity and the extra or the gained velocity which is gonna be 34 okay I'll go quickly on graph motion or motion of graphs which is the very important and famous one is distance time diagram usually time given either in hours or in seconds will be in x-axis or abscessa and the distance in kilometer or meters on y-axis let's try to interpret this distance time diagram the first part here or the first section from 0 till 10 hours it's right away it's a straight line okay this is a straight line okay so that means the object during the first 10 hours moves 10 kilometers but in a straight line that means it is constant speed because the rates of change of distance with time is constant the second part here or the second region here is a horizontal line what does it mean it means that there is no motion stationary because the, that object stays for from hour, 10 hours till 12 hours, 2 hours, does not move. So the same distance, so it is stationary. The third part is traveling at constant speed. Again, there is an increase in distance, steady increase in distance with time. So if we need to, s to calculate speed, the definition is distance divided by time. So, how many speeds we have here? In the first part, we have one speed, and in that part, we have another speed. Okay, how to calculate speed? We divide distance by time. So, if we take this distance between, say, 2 kilometers till 10 kilometers which is 8 and divided by 
this time between 2 and 10 turns out to be 8 divided 8 so the speed here is 1 km per hour acceleration from velocity time graph again before we could do that remember the difference between distance time graph you should be very careful time is always on x-axis but the vertical axis or y-axis you may have distance this is distance time graph the second kind here or the second graph is velocity so the vertical axis here is velocity so when you have this graph you can get some results out of it okay now if the velocity is increasing steadily straight line that means or indicates that this is a steady acceleration and now in that part if the velocity is a horizontal line that means there is no change in velocity during the period of from two seconds to six or five seconds during this period that means it is a steady velocity constant velocity now what happens here it is simply velocity is decreasing steadily from second five to second eight so what we call this we call it steady deceleration acceleration can be calculated as a difference or change in speed divided by time here we are we can calculate this difference in speed or change in speed by this difference which is 3 minus 0 and this change in time from 0 to 2 so it is 3 minus 0 divided to equal 1.5 meter per second per second which is meter per second squared thank you and in the next lesson we can continue other graphs for motion